Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. To ensure that you are always up to date on everything that is associated with this topic, make sure that you click the button that says subscribe and that you activate the notification bell before we proceed with today's updates. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? Today, I have a wealth of knowledge that is going to be delivered to you, with a particular emphasis on the massive impact that the 17th of January E is going to have on your financial environment. All of the information that you require is right here in this energizing video. We are discussing Social Security, Retirement, Disability, survivors of social security disability insurance, spousal benefits, ESSI and payments made via the internet. Therefore, fasten your seatbelts because this information is about to hit you like a bolt of lightning and we are going to delve further into the specifics. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get down to business and discuss the excitement that exists for millions of recipients on January 17th. E. Nevertheless, you should keep your hats on because I'm not going to stop there. I will also shed light on the impending deadline that is approaching on Friday, January 19 the E. The deadline is nearing. This deadline is a significant turning point, in particular for individuals who are operating within the confines of fixed salaries. In addition, I am available to help you navigate the complex maze of financial matters. Let us now get down to the work at hand. This Wednesday, January 17 the EA, is not like any other Wednesday. On this day, the floodgates of financial assistance are opened for millions of people who are eligible to receive them. This is your instant paycheck if your birthday falls between the 11th of the month and the 23 art of the month that you are currently living in. Payments that are made on a regular monthly basis are being placed into your accounts. Comprehensive with the most anticipated and highest cost of living adjustment for the cost of living. Prepare yourselves for the sting of the Medicare Part B premium hike which clocks in at a not-so-modest $174.79. However, there is a caveat that you should be aware of about this. Indeed, that hurts. Take into consideration the fact that every dollar that is falsely claimed by PON is a dollar that is taken from the trust funds. And whence do these money that are held in trust originate? A contribution to the payroll. In other words... The money that every one of us contributes in order to guarantee the financial security of our fellow citizens when they reach their golden years. There is no denying the influence of the ripples. Increased fraud leads to a quicker depletion of trust funds. What are people saying about it in the street? It's possible that the trust money will be depleted in just 10 years. To millions of people who rely on Social Security, the possibility of that happening is absolutely horrifying. As a result of a considerable number of persons indulging in PON-like shenanigans, it is possible that there will be reductions of up to 23%. In addition, this is without the intervention of Congress in the matter. What is the significance of the PON story? It serves as a jarring reminder that every instance of theft and every dollar that is stolen has an effect on the overall financial security of people who are receiving Social Security benefits. It is a domino effect that has the potential to put the stability of a system that many people rely on in jeopardy. Nevertheless, let us not ignore the bright side of things. There is no way that Kenneth P.O.N. will get away with it. His punishment of 10 months in prison and 3 years of supervised release may appear to be a form of justice that has been carried out. On the other hand, the significant repercussions are not limited to his time spent in prison. PON is scheduled to appear in court for a restitution hearing, and it is quite likely that they will be ordered to repay the ill-gotten riches. The fact of the matter is, however, that the procedure takes time, which could be longer than the 10 years that he spent cheating the system by fraudulent means. Now, let's hurry up and get to the P, a CDR assistance, which will take place on Friday, January 19th. E. At a time when politicians are struggling to deal with the impending danger of a shutdown of the government, Today marks a potential turning point. The stage was prepared all the way back in November, and the time is drawing to a close today. Now, however, comes the most exciting part. 
What happens on that day will not have a significant impact on your benefits, regardless of what happens. The sigh of relief that everyone is letting out is almost audible to me. Where are my hard-earned dollars, I wonder? You have inquired. Have no fear, my dear buddies, because you are one of the fortunate individuals who will be receiving your paycheck on Wednesday, January 17. The your financial fortress will continue to be impregnable. You may be assured that your money is safe, even if the sacred halls of law are filled with debate. Then, everyone, get some rest. Those individuals who are eagerly anticipating payments on the following Wednesday, the 24-hour, however, need not be concerned. This is because you are not going to enter the den of the lions either. The choices made by the government will not cause shockwaves to travel through your financial account. Recipients of Social Security income, you have already had your moment in the spotlight since your payments have already arrived, which was many weeks ago back in December. At this point, it is possible that the money in question has been absent from your bank account. But hey, you've managed to be paid. In addition, for those who are curious about assistance programs that cover the premiums for Medicare Part B, guess what comes to mind? I have your back entirely. Please leave a comment below if you would like me to create a video that is solely devoted to revealing the secrets of these programs. I will do my best to make it happen. The status of the economy is yet another significant issue that has a significant impact on the landscape. As has been mentioned in earlier videos, the state of our economy is a critical factor in determining whether or not there will be another round of stimulus checks. The relationship between economic indicators and political dynamics is a challenging and delicate dance. Thus, to summarize, it is of the utmost importance to acknowledge that our impact is limited and that we are now engaged in a game that is continuing. To put the possible gains and efficiency into perspective, the plan indicates that equivalent economic stimulus benefits may be obtained with a focused distribution of $200 billion in continuous 2,000 monthly checks to 25-30% of the population. This allocation would be in comparison to the $851 billion that was spent in 2022-2021. One quarter of the amount that was spent in the past may potentially get the same results, which is a revelation of enormous proportions. Having said that, it is of the utmost importance to note that even with this more targeted approach, there is an understanding that there is still the possibility of some amount of inflation occurring. From the question of whether or not inflation will occur, the focus switches to the question of how much additional money will be spent. In the event that additional programs such as the Reinstatement of the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP or the provision of greater unemployment benefits from both the federal government and the state are implemented simultaneously, there is a possibility that the overall impact on inflation will still be high. In essence, the approach that has been suggested is not a panacea that will ensure there will be no inflation. Instead, it is a more complex policy that aims to strike a balance between fiscal restraint and economic growth. It involves directing resources to the areas in which they are required the most, minimizing expenditures that are not necessary, and promoting economic growth without unintentionally contributing to inflationary pressures. It is important to remember that the Federal Reserve will continue to raise interest rates aggressively throughout the year 2022. Based on the predictions, it was anticipated that the consequences would become apparent in the second half of the year 2023. Here we are, bearing witness to the aftermath of the event. There's been an increase in the rate of unemployment, businesses are continuing to reduce their personnel, and the repercussions of these changes are being felt throughout communities. It is possible that January will bring about some changes in your financial situation. However, you should not allow this worry you to sleep at night. 